The spread of weapons in Iraq represents a major challenge to security and stability in Iraq. While it is difficult to reach an accurate number that limits the number of weapons that Iraqis possess, However, unofficial reports indicate that the number exceeds 15 million weapons, ranging from light, medium, and heavy. This widespread proliferation of weapons is mainly due to the inability to enforce the law on everyone, which creates a chaotic environment dominated by armed conflicts. Tribal conflicts, especially in the southern and central Euphrates regions, are among the most prominent manifestations of this chaos, as tribes fight using heavy and medium weapons, leading to many casualties. International armed groups are spreading in Iraq, whether on the border with Syria or in the northern regions of the country. These groups are often linked to neighboring countries, such as the Kurdistan Workers' Party, contributing to increasing the complexity of the security scene in Iraq and exacerbating the problem of the spread of weapons. Dozens of Iraqis are killed every month due to the use of weapons, whether in tribal conflicts or in individual crimes, as for the arms market in Iraq. It is difficult to control, according to a security source who says, weapons are traded illegally and at high prices, which makes it difficult for the authorities to control this market. Even doctors in Iraq face death threats while working in hospitals, reflecting the extent to which the spread of weapons affects various aspects of daily life. The Iraqi police forces find it difficult to confront the loose weapons, as they fear intervening in armed conflicts for fear of being attacked. This situation reflects the state's weakness in imposing its control over all areas and maintaining security effectively. Under these circumstances, it becomes necessary to take serious measures to limit the spread of weapons in Iraq. By strengthening the capabilities of the security services and strictly enforcing the law on everyone, in addition to enhancing cooperation with the international community to limit the flow of weapons into the country in his government program. Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani pledged to end the phenomenon of loose weapons outside the official and legitimate institutions. The spread of weapons in Iraq has significant negative effects on the lives of individuals and society in general, as it contributes to the rise in rates of violent crimes, such as murder, theft, and armed assaults, which makes the daily lives of individuals more dangerous and increases the feeling of insecurity. Armed conflicts between clans result in many casualties and destruction of property, and these conflicts are often long-lasting and exacerbate social tensions.